So number five, I really enjoyed in the beginning scene with Clara and the doctor when he's just asking her these questions that normally someone would find really insulting, but she just kind of like brushes it off her shoulder, just lets it go. Like when he asks her after she puts on all her makeup, why is your face all colored in? Or when she puts on heels and he goes, why are you so tall? Are you trying to reach something? Like he's just so clueless, but it comes off as just so insulting because he just has this kind of just salty attitude. Um, but I just, I really love how he's coming across and how the doctor's personality is coming across. And I really like this scene and that moment because it just, it shows more of his personality and his perspective. On the same token, number four, I really enjoyed how he just kind of doesn't understand sometimes what people are getting at. So after Cyber dies and Clara goes, are, hey, hey, are you okay? And he goes, I'm an amnesiac robbing a bank. Why would I be okay? Like he just doesn't, it's just those moments I absolutely love that he just doesn't get what people mean or what they're doing. And it's just, it really seems like this really old man, crotchety old man, trying to figure out the world and figure out what everything is. When Clara was saying goodbye and she said, you know, I have to go on a date with Dan Pink. And as the doctor watches her walk away, she goes, I want to see him try to top our adventure today. So just the little spark of competitiveness and the little leg kick he did at the end of the episode was just super adorable and I love how competitive he is and how he just thinks that nothing can top his time with Clara, even some date with some guy. So it was another really cute moment. The same token, a cute moment is when Clara has already be eaten and she realizes, oh shoot, I have to go eat dinner again with Dan Pink and the doctor goes, oh don't you know, calories consumed on the TARDIS don't count. And she's so excited. She goes, really? And he goes, no, it's it's a time traveling machine, not a miracle worker. And I really like the playfulness and the fact that he is getting comfortable enough to tell jokes and kind of be playful back with her instead of like a super rigid person. So it was a really cool scene to see um, him kind of kidding around with her. And then my favorite scene was when the teller is accessing his memories and the doctor is seeing his memories and he's seeing his past incarnations and he's going, ugh, the long scarf, the bow tie, how embarrassing. And then he, you know, goes, how do you like my outfit? I was trying to go for minimalist. I think I got magician. And just like the self-awareness because, you know, when his outfit was first you know, put on the internet for us to see, everyone was like, he looks like a magician, he looks like a magician. And then to have it be kind of meta and for him to be like, yeah, I kind of look like a magician. It was just a, an awesome payout after so many months of thinking something and, you know, seeing it all over Tumblr and the internet. And finally them going, yeah, okay, maybe it's a little magician this. So those were my top favorite moments. Most of my favorite moments seem to be at times when is clipping. Um, I also like when I get to see his kind of his vulnerability and his joking nature.